how can I talk to my wife about starting swinging? Now, this is a question that I get asked rather frequently, and it's one that many people are searching for, quite understandably too. You want to explore the swinger lifestyle with your partner, but you're not sure how to talk to them about it. And the thought of trying to convince them that it's a journey for you both to go on fills you with worry. What if they reject the idea and furthermore reject you in the process? Don't worry, you are not alone. In this video, I'm gonna share with you some of my top tips on how to have the shall we start swinging conversation with your partner. My name is Rosie Gay and I'm an ethical non-monogamy coach for couples and for single people who want to start in the swinger lifestyle. On my blog site, thiskindofgirl.co.uk, I banish the stigma about ethical non-monogamy and who swingers really are. So, how can I talk to my wife about starting swinging? Here are some of my very best top tips. The first thing you need to do before you've even had the thoughts about the who's, the why's, where's and the what's is tell your partner that these desires stem from a place of love and respect for the relationship. Now, this may sound very strange. It may sound, they might, it might sound very alien to them or why are you thinking about having sex with somebody else if you're respecting our relationship? But the fact that you've brought that honesty to the relationship, the fact that you're having those conversations, the fact that you want their input, you want to be open, you want to be honest is respectful for the relationship and also respectful of them as well. Explain to your partner that you want to share the swinging experience with them and that you can't imagine doing it with anyone else. Now, for me, I often talk about the swinger lifestyle of being ethically non-monogamous as being a journey for you both to go on. This is the best way that I can describe it. You want to um, experience and enjoy the lifestyle together and grow as a couple. It's not something, even though there may be couples who have open relationships, they still have that bond which connects them. And if you're wanting to explore swinging, it's very much something which people enjoy and do together. Now, the next tip is listen to her reservations and fears. Now, understandably, your wife, your girlfriend, your partner, she's going to have concerns about starting swinging. Listen to them and find a solution together. If your partner thinks that swinging or being uh, ethically non-monogamous will ruin your relationship, talk about these fears and address them. What are they founded in specifically? The next tip is always remind your partner that they are loved and adored of being in, regardless of whether they are involved in the swinger lifestyle. There should never be any type of coercion or deception or, or emotional blackmail. Um, your, your partner should always be loved and adored regardless of whether they decide they want to get involved in the lifestyle or not. And make sure that you are entering you have to make sure that you are entering the lifestyle for the right reasons. Now, if your partner is in no way by curious, then I'm afraid no amount of you um, talking to them about it or pestering them or telling them about things you've seen or things you'd like to experience or things you'd like to watch is going to change their mind. You have to respect uh, their own sexuality and um, all the ways in which they are wanting to get involved in the lifestyle. Um, you have to be prepared to compromise and to work together. Chances are the person uh, that who has initiated the conversation and the person who is the most comfortable with it feels a lot more confident than the person who hasn't. So taking things slowly um, is key and always move at a pace the least experienced person is comfortable. All too often I see, sorry to generalize guys, but all too often I see guys rush ahead and they describe fantasy scenarios of things they'd like to do and see and they'd like to experience this and wouldn't you like to do this? And for a woman to listen to that, it can be incredibly overwhelming because if, if your wife is only, if you've only just started having the conversation and you're bringing these things to the table and you're kind of describing the things which your wife's never even thought of or never even verbalized or has never really experienced, that's very overwhelming. So although you may want to start talking about these things, um, 
and start putting things together and you know looking for club boards and who can we spot with and what we do and clubs and things slowing the process down and slowing it down to a level that she's comfortable with is the only way to do things because if not she will get completely overwhelmed uh, another top tip is to, <laughs> you're already doing it already, by the way, is to read blogs and listen to other people's experience of swinging together and get real, realistic ideas of what the lifestyle is all about. Yes, there are a lot of um, things in, in pornography that you've seen. There's a lot of explicit content out there. Let me tell you now, guys and girls, it is completely unrealistic. Um, I have my own thoughts about that. Um, but, you know, yes, you can watch a bit of porn together. Yes, you can enjoy that. But just understand that it's very unrealistic as to what it's really like. Um, so because I'm asked this question so frequently and because I know there's so many people out there who are looking for the answers, uh, let me reassure you that you are not alone. Uh, and I've actually decided to make a guide for you um, called How to Talk to Your Wife About Starting Swinging. Uh, in my guide, not only will you discover um, how to talk to your wife about starting swinging, but also how to overcome many of your initial fears and worries about rejection. I explain why it is people want to start exploring ethical non-monogamy and what some of the benefits are that come with having this type of relationship. Uh, now, one thing which many couples don't realize is that men and women approach relationships and approach sex very differently. And once you understand the differences in the sexes, think about how I just touched on um, how women respond to pornography and women respond to being told about things that husbands would like to experience. Uh, once you understand these differences, once you understand how men and women respond, um, You'll be able to you will sorry you will be able to understand how you can enjoy swinging without jeopardizing your existing relationship and getting a basic understanding of how men and women view relationships and view sex is really important. Uh, in my guide, I also share uh, my, my thoughts surrounding sex and intimacy from a woman's point of view and why gaining an insight into what fears many women have is essential if you want to be uh, successful in an ethically non-monogamous relationship. Now, yes, the guide's written from a woman's point of view, but that's because I've been that woman on the receiving end of that conversation. And when I had that uh, conversation with my partner at the time, I was completely against the idea of swinging. Um, so I do know what it's like for women. I do know the thoughts that go through uh, a woman's mind. Um, so I wanted to share that with, with people as well. Uh, in my guide, you'll also find advice on where to go from here so you can start on your journey towards ethical non-monogamy and you can start building a successful swinger relationship. Thank you so much for watching my video. Do please hit the like button and the subscribe button. If you'd like to get your hands on the guide or you would like to join my TKG club, which is a club for genuine swingers in the community, um, online community of genuine swingers, you can do so by visiting the description for this video um, right down there. Uh, if you want to support me on Patreon and you like the work that I do and you want to say thank you and get your hands on some bonus content, again, you can do that uh, by clicking on the description for this video. Um, and I think as a, as a sounding point, guys and girls, um, what I want to share with you is that Always remember having a, an open relationship or a swinger relationship, it doesn't mean one person having sex while completely disregarding their existing relationship and their partner's emotions. Genuine swinging is about honest conversation and real connection based on mutual respect. I shall see you all next time, guys and girls. Thank you so much for watching this video.